Have you been planning to garden someday? How about now? Hi, I'm Ed Chandler. I'm a landscape architect in California. I've been thinking about starting this channel, Planning to Garden, for a while, and here's my vision for it. It's, I see it as a way to cultivate a community of like-minded people to become garden creators, to become the creators of their own garden. And so uh, to explain that a little bit, um, I need to tell you what I mean by garden and what I mean by planning. So let's talk about those. So in my view, a garden is a, a continually changing environment. It's all of the spaces around the outside of your home. And it is the outdoor living environment uh, around your home. So it's all of those different spaces. Uh, you can you could think about it in terms of, uh, of the having rooms around your house uh, and hallways and ways to get connected and walls and all that. Uh, so your garden is the the sum of the spaces around your home. It's the living environment beyond the walls of your house. Make sense? Okay. And then when I say planning, what I really mean is the whole process of design. So plan, design, and build. And that gets to uh, focusing in on the vision of what you want, figuring out how to distill that vision down into something that's buildable, and then actually implementing that and there's more design that has to happen as you implement because, of course, you discover and learn things as you go. So that whole process of, of planning goes from vision through focusing in on the details to actually making it happen. Make sense? Okay. And then why, right? Why, why spend time creating a garden for yourself around your home? I mean, the inside of your house is beautiful. Great. So many people spend... Uh, you know, years in a house and don't do anything with the outside. And it's, it's this afterthought space. But imagine the experiences that you could have with yourself, with your family, with friends coming over. You know, th your garden is the setting for all of these interactions and all of these experiences that happen uh, so that you can enjoy that indoor-outdoor lifestyle, so that your kids have a, a place to run around and play, uh, so that friends come over and you have a barbecue. I mean, you know, in in the someday when we when we get to have people over again. Uh, but right now, you have this wonderful window of opportunity to work on the garden while nobody can come over and have it, you know, get a, get a long ways downfield so that when people do come over, they go, wow, you've done such an amazing transformation from what it used to be. And the other piece that I've really come to understand uh, in the last year or so is that I used to spend all my time just designing gardens for commercial properties and for homeowners, uh, designing everyone else's gardener, uh, gardens. So, uh, you know, in, in that sense, it was sort of like the cobbler, the, you know, cobbler's kids don't have any shoes. And when I was forced to slow down, I reconnected with why I love gardens in the first place and found that it helps me be calmer and more focused and live better. And I want that for you too. So the best way I can figure to do that for as many people as possible is to help you become the creator of your own garden because we can build a community and do that together. All right? Sounds great. All right, so what do you do? What's the next step? Um, the first thing I think that, that you should do is figure out what a garden would mean for you. If you took, if you created your garden outdoor living space, what would that make possible for you? Would it, you know, improve the, the, the experience that you and your family have living there at your home? Uh, would it help you find more peace and, and centeredness? Uh, because there's so much craziness going on. And so would your garden help you relax? I mean, I, I know it does for me. Just I, every morning I get up and the first thing I do is I go out in the garden, uh, you know, and I, I pick some basil, I smell some rosemary. It helps me get grounded and centered for the day. And so what would a garden make possible for you? Either the life experiences or just your own wellness, or it, would it uh, just help you become a creator in your own right? Um, because gardening is something that changes over time and it's a practice that you build up. So what would a garden make possible for you? All right, so let's, 
Let's summarize. I'm Ed Chandler. I'm a landscape architect in California. Uh, I run a practice in Sacramento. I live up in the, in the mountains in Colfax. And I want to help build a community of like-minded creators, garden creators. Um, a garden is all of the spaces around the outside of your home that make up your outside living environment. Planning that garden means coming up with the vision, figuring out how to distill that vision and get focused, and then actually making that happen. And uh, the thing that you need to do next is figure out what a garden would make possible for you. All right? I'll see you next time.